So hey guys, welcome. Um, for some of you guys who don't know me, my name is Connie, and um, I sell essential oils, but I'm also a certified social media manager and do virtual assisting with people. So what I do is I help business owners be able to put all the pieces together and to figure out um, what direction their business needs to go and then help them be able to um, do some of their posting and their mini chat and their YouTube and things like that. So anyway, welcome. Okay, social media is like the love of my life. Um, so anyway, you guys, we're going to talk a little bit. I know some of you guys are in the middle of trying to create funnels and trying to figure out, like, how do I get, how do I build online? How do I get people into anything? Um, so we're going to talk about that, okay? So you guys can see my page up, right? Um, here's the thing about social media, okay? Um, can I just do some myths right quick? So a lot of people think, oh, if I just post something up on social media, um, people are just going to buy. Unfortunately, um, that's not the case. Okay. It usually takes people about seven times, um, to really get to know you, like you trust you. Okay. But I call it the social media circle. Okay. So when you think of a circle, it's just never ending, right? So when you get somebody on in your circle, then you start to be able to get them to where they know you, they trust you, they like you, and they'll purchase from you, okay? And so we're gonna just kind of walk through just some simple ways to do that, and then stay tuned for the very end because I'm gonna give you some opportunities to um, kind of dig a little bit deeper in order to work one-on-one -on -one with me, okay? So here's my page. You guys, I have, with this page, successfully enrolled every single person on my team um, from social media, okay? And it's because of this circle. Okay, I don't have any fancy funnel or anything like that. I just have a circle and it works really well. Okay, so think of your business Facebook page. And you guys, you have to have a business Facebook page. If you're doing all your doTERRA on your personal, um, it's against Facebook rules. Okay, and the people on your page, your personal page, they don't really want to see all that. Okay, so they're ignoring you. I hate to break that, but they really are, okay? So your business page is like your, um, it's really like your trifold or your business card, okay? It's going to tell people that I'm a business, I'm selling something, but I'm building a community, okay? So let's go through just a few parts of this. As you can see, like, people connect to other people. So you see my picture there, okay? I'm not going to put a logo there because I want them to know that when they're talking to me in Messenger, you're talking to me. What do I look like? What do I sound like? All of that, okay? You can see here on my cover photo, this is our latest DIY group, okay? Um, sometimes I'll see people and, y'all, you have about five seconds. So if they don't know that you sell essential oils and it's something like, um, you know, harmony or whatever, and the picture's all like, they're, they're going to wonder what you do. Okay, so you want to make it super clear to them. Um, if somebody clicks on this link, like they can absolutely, um, it'll take them to the sign up for that. Okay, so you want to make sure that you've got those little things in place. And then here, it's just an about section. And you guys, this is where you're talking to your ideal client. It's not about you. It's about them. What are they going to see if they work with you? And so I always ask a question there. Will it look different in the next three months? So guess here's what I know. If I can get somebody on LRP and I can get them using oils consistently for three months, will I stay? Majority of the time, yes. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what you post on social media. Okay, so um, there's really three types of posts and you really need to be doing all three daily. Okay, and you can totally schedule these so I'm not saying like you have to be on social media all the time. I really literally schedule Saturday and Sunday for the whole upcoming week. Okay, super simple, easy to do. Um, but you can see here, um, let me show you all how to schedule right quick. So if you click on like a photo, okay, and I'll just randomly pick one. And then you type up what you want to say to them. And then here you go to schedule. 
Okay, and then you pick the day and the time that you want to schedule. And then you just go down here and you click schedule. Okay, super simple to do, right? So let's talk about the three posts that you need, okay? So the first one in the morning needs to be something funny. It needs to be something inspirational. Um, it really just depends on your personality, okay? Um, I typically, the people that come to me are spiritual and they're Christian and they wanna be inspired, okay? So typically in the mornings, like this is my morning post. Okay, and it usually gets really good engagement. It usually gets quite a few likes. I can kind of tell where people are, what they're dealing with, by just kind of um, putting those through. How do I find those? I just Google inspirational quotes. Okay, and I just save those. Your second post around lunchtime needs to be product related. Okay, here's um, the current one that we're doing, and we and I put on mini chat. So some of you guys may be like, what the heck is mini chat? Have you ever gotten a message from a business and it seems like it just comes like it with an email? Yeah, that's mini chat, okay? It's just messenger and it's just helping you be able to speak to your people, okay? And so you can see here, this is the one that we have. Here's what I was doing with this post, okay? Um, I set up my mini chat. And I simply ask them, what do you want to see on my live Wednesday? Here's the information I'm trying to get out of them. What, what are they struggling with? Okay, so I simply put A or B. Okay, simple call to action. What do they want to see? Now let me show you the magic of mini chat, okay? So let's say this is me. Let's say I'm a totally random person. Y'all can come play with this if you want. Um, let's say I want A, okay? A is my vote. So here's the cool thing with mini chat. So I deleted it a second ago. It may be like, what the heck are you doing, lady? Let me try it with a different one. So usually what it will do, I think because I deleted it earlier because I had to redo the video. Um, let me show you um, what this looks like, okay? So when that pulls up, um, what it does is it automatically pops up in their um, messenger, okay? So you can see here the first part of this message because they have to answer a question um, or just make a comment. I say, remind me again which one you voted for, A or B. Once they put that again, then it pops up another message. And you have to like go in and like write these out, okay? Um, and so I say like, thanks for voting, check in, check in live Wednesday or watch the replay, okay? And see which one won and invite others by tagging them. So I can say that in any chat, I can't say that on the post, okay? Um, and then they'll get the free recipe after the live, okay? So a great way to do that, you can see people like really, um, they like to vote, they really do, okay? And then the third um, kind of post, we did the same thing on this one. Let me see if I can do it on this one so you guys can see it. See it live. Okay, so you can see there, um, that one actually I had not put, commented on, so it went live. Um, so like, let's say I say beach. I'm gonna go to the beach. So here's the cool thing. I created a PDF guide. It's in my Google Drive, okay? And then they get the summer guide, and all they do is they click on it. How many of you guys could educate your people with this? You guys, this is nothing fancy fancy. It is just a Google Doc with a few recipes. Something super simple, super easy. We've had a ton of people um, kind of go into that one. Okay, so I hope you can kind of see like what mini chat will do for you. Um, and the cool thing is they become, they're in my list. 
So I can email them when I have an upcoming class, if I have a special offer, um, if we're doing, um, sometimes just to get their opinion. Like, what do they want to learn, okay? So super easy way to do that. Um, love doing that. You guys can say, I love doing lives. Love them. So the third post you're gonna do is an, is an interactive post, okay? So this is things like, if they, you want them to give their opinion. Okay, so here's a fun one we did. Things you don't say on a first date. Okay, people love to give their opinion. And here's what it does. It helps you begin to know your customer. Okay, and if you go in and you respond to them below that, then you'll start to get more interaction out of them. Okay, so this is a super fun one to be able to do. So we've got the post, right? We're going to get those scheduled. You're going to get all of that done. Okay. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about mini chat just a little bit more, okay? Um, I know some of you guys are building funnels. I will just personally tell you that my funnel is mini chat, okay? It's just what I use. Um, it's absolutely free, um, up to four opt-ins, okay? After that, you either have to delete those or you pay 10 bucks a month for unlimited. I pay the 10 bucks. <laughs> Um, but it's a great way, whether you're doing a Facebook Live or whether you are trying to um, just do a post and get them in there, um, to be able to, to get them into a list. We all hear, like, you need a list, you need a list. How many of you guys have note, like sticky notes and, um, you know, slips from different events? Like, you've got all of this, right? Um, it's so much easier to get them on a list on the into mini chat, okay? And to be able to say, like, I know, like, these are people who want to know more information, okay? And it's really fun. It's so much fun to interact with them. Um, so you can see, this is what we call an opt-in, okay? So they're just saying, yes, I want, um, I want to know when you go live. I want that summer oil guide, okay? So they're saying to you, just like they would on email, hey, I want to connect with you a little bit more. Okay, and this is where, in mini chat, this is where I kind of get my seven touches with somebody, okay? Um, I will, you know, ask them a few questions if they're brand new to my mini chat and say, hey, um, are you currently using oils? Um, if so, what brand? Um, what kind of health issues are you having? Um, because here's the thing, you guys, people will tell you that in Messenger, they're not going to say that on Facebook. Okay, they're not going to air their laundry. Okay, but they will in Messenger. It, it will shock you sometimes what they'll tell you. But it's so cool to be able to um, just really get to know them. So I had a whole lot of fun um, last night. So I told you guys, like, my page is Christian, and it, I just I love to inspire people. And so Sunday night, I went in and I simply sent out a mini chat and I said, um, hey, you guys, I just want to pray over you. Um, is there anything that I can be praying specifically for you? You guys, I had so many responses. It took two days to get through them. Okay. Um, it was crazy. But I used this new little tool. And I want to share this with you a little bit. Um, I went in and sent little voice messages, okay? So if you're on your phone, you can hit the little X, the little plus sign, and then you can record them a voice message. So what does that do? That allows them to hear my voice, okay? Because it was crazy that like people were back and forth with me um, multiple times. And what that does on Facebook is Facebook is like, oh, they're building community. Mm-hmm, oh yeah. And so then they will, um, they will see your stuff more and more and more. Okay. So it could even simply be that you simply ask them in mini chat, like, tell me a little bit, like, what oil recommendations can I make for you? Okay. And they're going to tell you, like, what oil questions do you have? Okay. And that's going to help you be able to do that. It's going to help build that community. Um, one of the things we've been doing that has worked so well is that on Sundays, I typically send just a quick recap. Did you see XYZ? 
um, and I put those in there and I go into the little places where they can click. Okay. Just like you saw a second ago. And the thing is like, it tells me what they're interested in. Okay. Cause I'll put a few different, I'll put two different things. Um, but it also helps build up my social media. Okay. But what does it also do? It is telling Facebook that they want to talk to me and that we're building community, which just helps them see my stuff more. Okay. So a great, great way to do that. Um, some of you guys are building funnels. Okay. So you can absolutely attach that to mini chat and to know that, um, you know, you're sending them to that. I will tell you, okay. And I honestly I haven't bought the funnel stuff because it's just, it's not what I'm going to do. Um, a lot of people are leery of really giving you a name and a number and all of that. If they think that you're going to try to sell them something. Okay. So just be careful with that. Okay. Really build community. If you're going to use mini chat and then you're going to use your funnel, talk to them at least four or five times. Okay. Minimum before you like program off that funnel and send that to them. Okay. Will you do that for me? Um, and then how do I get sales off mini chat? Okay. So let's talk about the last BOGO. So I simply ask people beforehand, do you want to know about the BOGOs? Like we only have them quarterly. Um, it's a great way to get some oils and get one for free. Well, of course people tell me yes. Right. And so what I did is I set up every single morning I went in and I scheduled out my, um, my message and I let them know like, here's the burger of the day. Here's how you get it. And, um, so you can't sell on mini chat. Like you can't ask for money unless you've been on mini chat quite a while. And some of us are just not getting that feature. But what you can do is send them to like a PayPal link or send them to like your doTERRA site or, um, a Google doc where they can get the, you know, learn about the oils and then be able to purchase that. Okay. So super easy to do. You guys, um, I love it for BOGOs. It's just made life so much simpler. Okay. So those are great ways to do that. So a couple of bonus things. Okay. Um, I know there was a lot of talk in some of that about Facebook ads and can you build without Facebook ads? You absolutely can. Okay. You can, it takes a lot longer. So here's what I'm going to tell you. You don't need to go spend $20 a day on Facebook ads. You simply need to spend just a couple of um, dollars a day. Okay. Yeah, that's less than a cup of coffee. Okay. You're going to get them interacting. So I'm going to pull up a little bit. Let's see if I want to do this. I currently have an ad running. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to open up my ads manager. Hold on, you guys. We're gonna we're gonna look at something. So here's a little sneak peek of a little trick. Okay. So if you want to know, is somebody running an ad? Okay. What are they running? What does it look like? How can I um, follow that? Okay. You can go to their page. So let me pull up my page. I love this little trick. Because I use it all the time. Okay, so you see this little part right here where it says page transparency. You click on that. It's going to tell you all about the page. And it's going to tell you that this page is currently running ads. And you just click that. Okay, you can do this with any business page. So you can see here the ad that I'm currently running is this, which one do you choose? Okay. Now I target that very specifically. Okay. One of the questions I saw was, well, everybody's going to target the same thing. Not with what I teach. Okay. You're going to look at different places that your customer hangs out. If they like doTERRA, what else do they like? Okay. And there are some, some ways to really target that. Okay. So definitely a great way to, to do that. Okay. And you can also like click on their thing to kind of know like what they're doing. So this particular ad, I'm spending $3 a day. Um, it started this morning. 
So it's running really, really well. If I go and look in my ads manager tomorrow, my ads typically run me at about somewhere between 12 to 25 cents, cents per person who engages. Okay, so I'm not spending a ton of money, but I'm getting quality leads, okay? So I want y'all to know that, okay? For some of you guys, ads seem like a big scary thing, and it's really not, okay? Um, and again, you absolutely can run that without ads. Um, it's just going to take you a lot longer. Okay, so some bonus. Anybody want to tell me what the second biggest um, thing is on the internet where people are searching the biggest search engine? Google's number one. YouTube is number two. Okay. So I took this amazing training on um, YouTube and then I went through a lot of videos and just kind of self-taught myself too. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but I was doing all of these videos and I was just doing them for my team and my customers and I wasn't posting them. I was just completely just putting them um, unlisted where if they got the link, they got to see it. I didn't really understand YouTube and why I needed to be on YouTube. Most people searching to buy something are looking at YouTube, okay? So I had a strategy change, okay? So yeah, I love Facebook, but again, we're doing that circle, right? So they go from Facebook to mini chat, mini chat to YouTube videos, okay? A lot of my time. So you guys can see here, so I've only been doing this for um, the past five days, maybe? So I've gotten 42 people, Awesome. How many of y'all would like 42 people on your social media? Yep. Um, here's the thing. So I put together a playlist. So easy to do. Okay. So here's a little bit of playlist. So I mix business and I mix um, essential oil stuff. Okay. So you can see here. So the cool thing about YouTube also is I can schedule these. So I took my phone, I simply did a video with it um, on my iPhone, and I airdropped that to myself, and then these are going to run Tuesday and Thursday. So here's the thing with YouTube, you have to be consistent, just like social media, because you can schedule them, okay? So I love that, and so here's the one I did the other day. So it's a playlist, okay? Think of it like a Netflix series. So you can see here. Okay, guys. Um, they're just roller bubble recipes for various aches and pains. Okay, and when it gets to the end down here, um, it's going to show a little icon up here, and it's going to help them. It may not do it because I'm in my manager thing, um, but it'll put a little icon up there, and I can teach you how to do that, or I can do that for you, but it'll take them to the next video. Okay, so if you think a little mini series, okay, what are your customers asking for? Okay, maybe it's DIY, maybe it's spa products, maybe it's products for kids. Okay, when you take that and you create a little six minute video, then you're able to educate, but also able to get more customers. Okay, so let me show you a little trick to this too. So part of what you have to do is um, be able to say, okay, what am I gonna give them? Because remember, we're always trying to get them to opt in, okay? So they can get the guide, okay? So all they have to do is click that. It's in the top two lines of that. So they're going to see that, okay? So just an amazing way for you guys who don't mind being on video or maybe you're just looking at different revenue streams, um, YouTube is definitely one of those, okay, so that you have to look at. Um, and there's some things like tagging your videos and making sure that it tags at the top for the um, what people are searching for. Okay, so you see here like I have a ton of tags, and it's because I've searched that. So anyway, something totally I can teach you on that. Um, so anyway, you guys, that's how I build my social media. Okay, it's not complicated. It does take a little bit of time. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it takes a little bit of time to do it. Um, I probably spend um, probably two to three hours a week on social media. 
okay? And I also do a couple of Facebook Lives in my week on Facebook, okay? Um, that is how you get people to purchase from you. That's how you get new customers, okay? Is you become the expert. Because if they're looking at you and they're like, oh my gosh, that Connie check, like, this is an amazing Facebook page. Um, she's got a YouTube channel. She has like these guides that she gives out. Holy cow. Um, yeah, I want to, I want to work with her. Okay. So you see how that works. Um, so I'm not like, I'm not this gun, like any other, like any way, but I want you to do the smart. Okay. So I hope that's helpful. Um, so here's the bonus. Okay. So you guys, I know some of you guys are like, okay, I get it. I need to be on social media. Um, I have a course that walks you through all of these steps. There's a workbook, there's videos. It, you can pause it and then go into a lot more details. Okay. Um, there's also, for some of you guys, you may be like, I, mean, I, I have no desire to do this, none whatsoever. So then you may want to just hire me as your virtual assistant and be able to help you get all of this done. Okay. Or maybe you just want to hire me just for, um, I just need some ideas of what to post here or there. Okay. You can totally do that with me. Okay. I unfortunately don't have the time to do pick my brain all day long. Okay. So, um, but you can totally, um, do the course. Okay. The course is $47. It walks you through every single step that we've talked about and really like I do screenshots and I do a workbook and you can see all of that. Okay. Or you can do the, um, you can just hire me to come in and just help you with different places where you're just needing some assistance. Okay. So either way, I hope you'll choose one of those. And if not, I have given you enough that you can um, do it on your own too. Okay. So anyway, you guys, thank you for letting me just share my heart and um, hopefully you learned some things about social media and kind of have an idea of what to do with that. Again, if you need help, I am here to help you. Okay, thank you.